everybody. So um, I'd like to start off by saying I am not in my room, as you can see. I am currently in Laval. Um, if you watched my short that I did last on Monday, um, yeah, I, w I didn't have an XLR cable. I got an XLR cable, so I, I have a small setup here. I have Mackie speakers. My complete audio two is my audio interface, and then I have my my Shure PGA 32 or whatever it's 52 PGA 52. I'm using for this one. Um, I'd also like to apologize for my video on Monday, the big video. Uh, I I've I've been fighting a cold and dry throat. And I was, I was, I had a holes in my mouth and it was rattling around. And if I had more time, I would have redone the video, but I didn't, I did not have any time to do it. So <clears throat> now let's just get onto that top, onto the topic of today, which is what can Tascam do to make, to make their products better? Um, I'm mainly talking about the DP 32 and 24. This can go to the model series as well, the one that I have. Now, now the, the criteria for this for me is that it has to be software, software modifications, meaning there's no hardware changes. It's just going to be software. It's just going to make things a little easier for all of us. And for me, it's, it's easy wins. Well, not easy, easy being, it, it doesn't have to be a hardware update. This has to be it just has to be a software update. Um, the first one being um, when you import a file, uh, stick with waves, it's fine, but you know what? Just put in a bit rate converter, sample rate converter to whatever whatever you need for that one. So if, if I put in like a um, 41, 1, 24 bit, and I'm trying to get onto a 48, uh, 48K, um, you know 16 bit or something like that just do the conversion yourself um this can't be hard because there's there's other products that do this so that is really annoying i i wish they would just put that in there that way you don't have to sit there and go, okay what which what's the sample rate i have on this and all that it would just automatically do it now i i get not doing mp3s because mp3s cost you have to have a license to have to use an mp3 uh, player and converter and all that stuff so it doesn't doesn't matter but the wave files you could easily put that in second isn't as easy but it should be able to be done which is use the usb for midi you have a usb on the back you should be able to simply have it go into a computer and as and have it be have it use midi and use a computer as a sequencer or you know you can go even further and you can then you can then um add uh what's you can add a, add a cable with midi port plugs on it that goes plugs into the usb and you can use that these are two easy things that can be done um I, you can't tell me that you don't still have the code for the old midi system in the dp3224 the newer ones and honestly, it would really make things a lot better because there are people who want the meaty. I'm not one of them. I like the way it is, although I am getting more and more into that. And to me, that would be an easy, another another thing that can be done. And then you make people happy and they're like, oh, look, I now have meaty again. And I just have to do it through the USB. And I know there's people who say, well, it's not, you can't run th through the USB. You can do anything through USB. If you, if you go out and buy cables for your MIDI setup for your computer, it's USB. Everything is a USB now. It's, it's not, there's no, there's no, there's no set rules to it anymore. So these are two that you can do and it would make it easier. So, um, yeah, my video short today, I, I've, I was hoping to do a bunch of videos this week and, but I'm still fighting this cold. So that's my video. Um, I will be, when this video is played, I will be back at home. So my next video will be back at home. So thanks for talking to me and uh, talk to you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.